I will be demonstrating the capabilities of the Kinect controller for Windows, and this was our submission for the 2013 WSU Hackathon, and we received first place. Alright, first off, I will show you the settings screen, and here we can uh, apply settings to both the, uh, the window appearance and the sensitivity of cursor and gesture controls, such as uh, the transparency, and then also cursor box and smoothing of gestures and the cursor, and we also can disable gestures. All right, let me demonstrate how our system works. So firstly, we bind the cursor position to the right hand, and we set the sensitivity off the user size. And this enables that every user can hit the far right side, far left side, all the way up, and all the way down with relative ease. And uh, this leaves the left, left hand available for, uh, to bind it to uh, gesture controls, such as uh, start and start screen. Moving back to the desktop. And uh, mouse clicking. Mouse down, mouse up. Okay, let me show you the usability of that. So I'll grab this icon right here, and I will move it over to this section. Perfect. And uh, another control we have is uh, the volume. So you put your hand by your ear, it grabs the volume, then left hand up for volume up, left hand down for volume down, and uh, just stick your hand in the center here, and that'll set the volume. All right, the startup Chrome, and uh, we have some usability uh, here too, as well as uh, swipe right to swipe through tabs, and uh, we can grab tabs, move them around. There we go. And uh, on the maps, we can zoom around, zoom out, gr grab it. And uh, move around. And that is the basic uh, usability of our project.